Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know It All. Apologies for the sound behind me, but uh, <laughs> that is Tesla's Palo Alto headquarters. I that I believe is building five, and I think we're going to building six tonight, so I'm not exactly sure where everything is. But I wanted to do a quick AI Day prediction thing from on location. So I'll be back here tonight with a whole bunch of very, very smart people, and it's going to be a blast. Uh, two really quick things first. Number one, uh, it's been a real pleasure to drive the um, Tesla Model Y that we rented from Hertz, not not sponsored by Hertz or anything, but I'm just saying like you rent it from Turo or Hertz or whoever you want to. But it's been really, really nice. It's excellent to have basically the same car, but especially if you're considering purchasing it in the EV, it really is worth renting it for three or four days. Not just one, because you probably won't get the sense of it in one day, but just try it for a few days. Uh, and the second thing, I really, really want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank my Patreon patrons, because it is, it's expensive. I've been to San Diego, I've been here, and I'm going to be going to uh, Florida in a couple of weeks for the Tesla Con in Florida. And, you know, they it's lovely I'm getting free invitations and things like that, but it costs a lot to do the travel. So I really appreciate my Patreon patrons and uh, just wanted to say a public thank you. Okay, so AI Day predictions. Um, I think we'll break this into hardware and optimists or Tesla bot and uh, software. <laughs> so, and then maybe uh, out there stuff. So number one is hardware. Dave Lee is very much of the opinion and really sorry about the shaky camera. I just finished working out. <laughs> I'm noticing that I'm having a hard time hold this, holding this thing up. Uh, but anyway, Dave Lee is very much all about the fact that hardware 4 may be in current Model 3s and Model Ys that are being produced right now and that Tesla will take the opportunity to announce that tonight. So we will see what happens with that. I'm hoping that that, uh, that actually happens. I don't know. I don't know. It's been, it's been basically five years since Hardware 3 was released, maybe four years since they actually put it in cars. But it's been a long time. And that, you know, that's a forever ago in terms of generations of hardware. So Hardware 4, it makes very, very good sense that they will be releasing it. I believe that Hardware 4 or some variant of Hardware 4, maybe Hardware 4 shrunk, <laughs> will be in the uh, Tesla bot for sure. But I think that, I think that he's probably right that either it's Put it being put in cars right now or they're going to announce that it's going to be done very soon and that's the reason why this event is literally happening after market close on the last day of the quarter so everyone will already have taken delivery of their vehicles and they can't go like oh cancel my order i want to wait for hardware 4. Uh, the other thing is that um, more than likely in terms of hardware 4 Again, if they do that, I, I don't know that Tesla's going to give it to, for free to everybody who already owns Hardware 3. I think probably what they'll do is they'll offer it for cost. So it'll be relatively inexpensive, $1,500 or something like that, $1,000 or $1,500. So people who are interested will take it, and anybody who wants to continue with full self-driving beta will take it. And apologies, that guy's finally leaving. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it was rather noisy. Hopefully it'll get a little bit quieter now. So Hardware 4, uh, I, I'll give this, let's say, 50 or 60% odds that Hardware 4 is going to come. Ha, uh, the other thing that I'm going to give even higher odds is that, uh, is that Dojo, we will see an Exapod. Um, I said that, actually, I had a conversation with Dave Lee a couple of days ago, so check out his channel. It's a, it's a nice conversation. He, got, he asked really, really good questions. I love, I love his questions. But anyway, uh, I believe that there's a high degree of probability. I'm going to give this like 90 plus percent that we're gonna see Dojo today. Uh, and, and in the form of like an exapod. Now, they may not literally have one sitting there. I don't know, maybe they will. But at the very least, they'll show a video or they'll show it running or they'll have a terminal which will be demonstrating the speed of it. And they'll be doing some speed tests versus their you know, similar size piece of NVIDIA's GPU cluster that they have. I don't believe they're going to have Dojo completely up and running. Remember, it's a supercomputer, so it's just bunches and bunches and bunches of these things. So there's, you know, <laughs> having one piece of it running would be really, really fantastic in one year. And I think that that's what they're going to demonstrate to us. Remember that Elon Musk has tweeted specifically that this is going to be very highly technical. So that's exactly the kind of thing that I would expect would be that technical level of explaining the hardware and also explaining hardware for and what the differences are between hardware 3 and hardware 4. I do believe also that this is going to be a much more hardware focused AI day than um, probably last year. So anyway, let's see what else in terms of hardware. I mean, aside from the robot, obviously. So, okay, so let's turn to the robot. So Tesla bot or Optimus, uh, I, th I don't think we'll see a scan. 
Uh, I mean, maybe we'll see a demo model of it, of like, this is what it's gonna look like, a physical one, but it won't be an operational one. I think the operational one is going to be, well, aluminum, probably not steel, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Terminator sort of thing. It'll be like, you know, that, and then maybe it'll have a fully finished face on it. As far as the hardware inside of it, it will either have 4680s or maybe it'll have blade batteries in it. You know, it would be interesting if it had blade batteries because it might fit the form factor of a bot better than cylindrical cells, which are kind of difficult to cram into a human form. So that could be one thing that could be different. The, in addition to that, um, I think that what we could be looking at is, is uh, hardware, like I said, hardware 4 or some variant of hardware 4. Hardware 4 probably will come like hardware 3 with two of the hardware 4 chips on it for some redundancy. So maybe what they'll do is they'll, they'll make the board like half as big and they will put only one of the hardware 4 chips inside of it. I don't know. Or maybe they'll have a mobile version or maybe they'll just go with the standard board because that gives them economies of scale. So it makes it a lot cheaper to produce that. It, you know, but it is a pretty big board and in terms of fitting like into the torso area here it could be a little bit of a challenge to do that. So anyway, that is um, that is what we've got for Tesla Bot. Uh, as far as what it can do, oh gosh. <laughs> so anyway, I'm giving pretty high odds for that, by the way. Let's say 75, 80% for the things that I was talking about. But in terms of the what it will be able to do this is something that's really really all over the place i've heard everything from you know it'll stand up <laughs> to it'll be on wheels i wouldn't be surprised about that to gosh what else might it have i, I all right <sighs> this is where i feel like i'm going out on the limb the most i believe that it will be able to walk it will be able to communicate with people and turn in other words talk or you know, have some sort of text description or something like that that's on it. So it'll be able to do that kind of a stuff. And I think that they'll probably try to demonstrate something that it can do that's, you know, again, maybe basic, but again, picking stuff up or if it can get out of a car, that would be incredible. Sorry, I'm getting into the sun. I'm trying to find my shadow. <laughs> the sun keeps moving on me. Uh, so anyway, but it, if it's able to uh, get out of a car that is incredible if you think about how challenging it is to get out of an automobile it is a really big challenge even something like a cyber truck that's as tall as it is that would be a huge huge thing that it can do that so so some sort of basic functionality i think again if they're going to make people impressed who are in the know they've got to do something that's not just the old standard stuff right that everybody else has been doing for years so i think that that's kind of the bar that they've set themselves and in terms of um in terms of like other things, well, oh, in terms of software, sorry, I'm gonna get to like the, the reason why they're having this event in just a minute. But in terms of software, I think that what we're looking at for software is probably, again, I really am not holding out a huge amount of hope for amazing new things in terms of software. I think that what we're going to get in terms of software is some uh, rehashing of what we already know about occupancy networks, <clears throat> probably with some more details about that, maybe getting digging into the neural networks and stuff. So again, even if it's not new material, if it's more detailed about that, I for one will be ecstatic. So <laughs> I'm not saying this in a bad way. I just don't know. I feel like full self-driving is kind of in a developmental state where they're trying to polish it right now, right? So it's not massive new technology, it's polishing it and making it work as well as possible. So I think that's the state they're in. Now, of course, for Optimus, they could talk about some new things that they're doing with Optimus, in terms of like balance, in terms of its ability to interact with a different kind of world, because remember, it's not, you know, it's not roads like this that are behind it, uh, that are around it for Optimus. It's going to have to deal with factories and then eventually, you know, city streets and houses and stuff like that. So they could talk about some developments in terms of Optimus and what they're doing. And I think they'll talk a lot about simulation as well. I should definitely say that. They'll definitely say, we're going to be simulating this over and over. And here we've already done this and we're using Dojo to do a billion simulations of Optimus in the, in, you know, in the virtual world where it's actually using virtual cameras. So, you know, so you're not, you're not cheating and giving it a video game. You're trying to create a situation Oh, that guy's back again. <laughs> I'm never, never <laughs> unfortunately he's back. But anyway, they're going to create a situation where the, the Optimus, just like the cars, believes that it's in this environment 
and the cameras and everything are being fooled by that. So it's getting virtual cameras. So it's, it's as close as possible to reality and they're going to give it millions and billions of simulations of doing things. And I wouldn't be surprised if they showed a video of it falling down and just being a complete fool and you know not understanding anything and slowly in the simulation getting better. And then maybe what they'll do is they'll reveal it in real life and go like, hey, <laughs> and now it works in real life just like it did in the simulations are pretty close. So anyway, that's the kind of thing I sort of expect what are they going to do? This is a recruiting event. So they need to be talking about what is exciting. They can't say, look, look at all the stuff we've done. We're finished, right? So what they need to do is say, look at all the cool stuff we've done. Here's cool stuff that you can help us with. So I think that they will definitely be pushing maybe like full self-driving version two or something, which is, I don't know exactly what that is, but maybe like real full door to door like, you know, you get in and it goes to where you want and there's kind of like a, a level of polish to that. But I think that's the less exciting part of, of AI right now for the researchers, assuming again that Tesla is actually solving the problem. <laughs> you know, again, assuming that there's enough headroom that they're actually gonna get better than human drivers. If not, then we've got a whole other ball of whack or, you know, ball game here, but I don't know that they would want to really publicize that. Okay, but anyway, I think what they're gonna really push in terms of software is you can help to program this bot that is going to literally change the world if it works. That's the kind of thing they'll push. As far as hardware, obviously hardware is a big thing, right? You can help work on full self, uh, sorry, not on full self driving, on the hardware four, hardware five, hardware six, etc. You can work on Optimus, you can work on actuators, miniature actuators, material science, battery science, uh, you name it. So in terms of hardware, it's gonna be pretty amazing stuff. And then last prediction. So I'm, I'm giving, you know, again, 75% odds that they won't do too much new about full self-driving and most of the software focus will actually be on Optimus. As far as the kind of big reveal thing, because they've been talking a lot about high speed and danger and dying and stuff like that. Uh, people have said Cybertruck plaid or something, and I would not be at all surprised to see a Cybertruck here. In fact, I hope I see like a latest prototype Cybertruck, but I am really holding out hope for a Roadster, maybe with a SpaceX package, which is the cold gas thrusters that come out the back. So if that's the case, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'll have died and gone to heaven. So anyway, I'm, I'm giving Cybertruck a, uh, I'll give it a 50-50 odds because I just don't know if that's exactly the focus of this event. As far as the Roadster, I'm going to go ahead and just stay, you know, go out on a limb and say that I think that we've got maybe 80, 85% odds that we'll see a Roadster today and actually get to be in it, which will be pretty amazing. And then I'll have to go and figure out how to make enough money to be able to afford one. <laughs> So anyway, all right, everybody have a great day. I will periodically give short little things as the AI day approaches, but I just wanted to do a longer video. And again, apologies about the shaky hands. It's really hard to hold up a camera when your arms are dead tired. All right, everybody have a lovely day. Happy AI day. Talk, talk to you later. Bye-bye.